Okay, so I was doing some thinking about the January 2021 so-called sneeze, right? The January sneeze of 2021. Of course, this is financial advice. These are just my personal thoughts and opinions. But when you think about that, right? At that time, there was so much FOMO. Um, market was in an incredible bull rally. So many things were coming back after when uh, the pandemic had hit. Every, all stocks had fallen massively very quickly, right? Like unlike anything ever seen before. Everything's coming back. Retail stocks, heavily shorted stocks like GameStop are very strong and coming back, have a lot of retail interest, right? There's more retail interest at that time than almost ever in the US stock market. So, but yet there's a sneeze, right? Like the shorting hedge funds let things get out of control, right? That's kind of when you look back at what happened, it was a gamma ramp and tons of FOMO, not short covering, right? That was the conclusion. Go make that conclusion yourself. Don't just take it from me. But what I'm getting at here, imagine a sneeze now. A sneeze now, in my opinion, would be so much more lethal to anybody betting against GameStop because now I look at myself, I've, at that time, I, I think I've said this in other videos, but in the very beginning, how I got into GameStop was a very, very lucky YOLO option. And just YOLOing options all the time definitely screwed me. So not saying do that in any way. And at that time, I was doing all kinds of crazy trades and stuff, right? But since then, what have I been doing? Accumulating shares and more and more shares, right? And it seems like a lot of people have held on since then, or any of the paper hands at least are far gone at this point, like that are in for the quick money, right? People are still in the game stuff at this point, mostly really, really believe in it and what the company's doing. So a sneeze right now, or a huge leg upward for GameStop, like a massive spike up due to whatever, right? It would be so much more lethal because think, think about yourself. I think about myself. I wouldn't just sell right away. I know what I have is worth so much in the future. And what GameStop is building is so amazing, right? And it's just incredible. And like, why would I sell just on a little spike up, right? Unless I see a ridiculous number that might change my life then I might have to sell, right? That's kind of my thought on it, but I like the stock. And I also want to say one other slight theory here, a little bit off topic from this video, but just imagine individuals continue to DRS, the float gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, right? So there's like almost nothing left. And then Ryan Cohn comes in and shuts the door and just buys like millions of shares, right? Like that would be insane. What would happen? Would it be instant Moas? I don't know. Would he probably get sued? I bet there'd be some kind of BS, like something like that. But I don't know. There's still so much more to come in GameStop. But just some of my thoughts today. Hope you have a great day. We'll see what happens. Will there be another sneeze one day? Maybe if there is, we'll look back on this video. Have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe.